Coming to you live from Southern California. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the Kansas City Royals and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get started. And the pitcher here today, Jose Suarez. Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Out towards left center. Grabs it on the run. And there's one down. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle of the diamond. And this guy is at the top of the list. And that misses off the outside edge. And it's even up. And you played behind guys, and they loved having your speed out there defensively. One of the things that we talk about is how much pitchers enjoy having those elite defenders behind them. They say you win. Boog, and the one thing about that is speed never goes in a slump, and defense shouldn't either. Hitting-wise, you can struggle, you can lose your mechanics, but the thing that you can do consistently every single game is play great defense if you're talented in that way, and this is what this guy does. The pitch. Well struck left field. Gritchick ranging back, looking up. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Salvador Perez in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. The next offering misses. And now 2 0. Oh. Out to short. Gets it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Royals bats are quiet there and now the Angels will get their first opportunity in this one no score you're dialed into the show back in Anaheim and today's starting pitcher Zach Greinke what do you have on him. Well, he comes at hitters with a five-pitch mix, so for him, it's always interesting to see how he utilizes those weapons. He may lean on one or two pitches, depending on how things are going and how things are working, but if he can control four or even five of those offerings, look out, hitters. It's going to be a tough day. He's really going to be able to keep those guys off balance. So in now for the Angels, Randall Gritchick. The pitch. Singing, you know, Zach Greinke, a guy that even while he's been playing, he likes scouting amateur talent in person and watching guys on video. Well, in the 2012 year when he was with Milwaukee, he went into their draft room and there was video on the screen of a certain player and he pointed at the screen Greinke did and said, that's the guy you should take with your first pick. He's the best player in the draft. And it turned out to be his future teammate, Corey Seager. Right-hander kicks deals. Ball one there. Inside. 
In the dirt. Perez on to first. Got him. One away on the strikeout. And next for L.A., number nine. In there for strike one. Swing and a miss. And now one and two. Too close for me, partner, to take that 0-2 fastball, but for whatever reasons, he let it go by. He's still in the at-bat. I don't think he'll let the next one go. On the ground to third. In plenty of time to first, and that's an out. The first baseman. Brandon Drury to the plate. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He is the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. That misses, and the count is one and one. The 1-1 one, one is fouled off. And the right-hander deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pulled the string on the changeup. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and miss, and you walk off the field. Top of the second, and to the plate for Kansas City, M.J. Melendez. M.J. Melendez. The pitch. And that one just misses. A ball and no strikes. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable to play is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. The why to kick the pitch. That's off the mark. Two balls, two strikes. Bounced up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Edward Olivares getting ready to hit. Cap dances out of the way of that one. The lefty to one on. That's towards center. Phillips gets there. He's under it. He's got it. And there's one down. And here is Michael Massey. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning-ending double play. Swing and a ball popped up. And it falls! Melendez makes the turn at second. The tag at third, and he's out! 
Hey, as a former center fielder, I'm feeling pretty good right now. That's an excellent job by this guy to come up throwing and deliver a strike to third base. Now, for the offense, that's a tough one to swallow because you never want to lose a runner in scoring position by making it out at third base. So up now for Kansas City, Tyrone Blanco. Swinging a foul, pushed off to the right, and that will get out of play. Massey, the runner at first with two gone. And there's a foul ball. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Royals leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. here at the ballpark we head to the bottom of the second here's the Angels catcher Logan Ohapi and the right hander back to work and the pitch a little bit low ball one And that's a little high. He's clearly trying to work him away here. Both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. Throw over to Prado. One up, one down. Here's Joe Adele. Foul ball there. Next pitch downstairs. And the count even one and one. Carl Dixon doing the umpiring behind the plate. And Boog, I'm not sure if it's because he sort of sets up higher than most, but one thing to be aware of with Dixon is the high strike. Not usually a big deal because most guys are swinging at pitches up there, but we may see some surprise looks from hitters from time to time because that's just so unusual. One down, base is empty. Goes down looking. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to him. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. And he deals. Ball, that's out. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. Bounce to third. And that one handled. Tosses to first. That's the third out. Inning over. Angels go down one, two, three. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at Angel Stadium. All set for the start of the inning. Leading off, Nick Prado. Suarez back to work. Strike one. All one's the count. The old one. Eight, two. Oh. 
And oh, ball right. one. The idea was right. Looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. One and two here. Ball two. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Way inside gets out of the way. Fights it off. He'll see another. Here comes a 3 2. Rip towards third. Throws to first. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And now it's Matt Duffy. That one's in there, 0 and 1. First pitch strike right there for him. He's going to have to do that consistently if he's going to give any length to his skipper. They say you win. No ball, two strikes. On the ground to the left. The throw to first. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Good slider inside right there. Batter fighting to get there. Just rolled over it. Got the ground ball. Now here's the leadoff hitter for the Royals, number 11. Foul ball. in there at the knees that's strike two trying to keep good speed off the bases going to count one and two that's a really good job of laying off the 0 2 high fastball is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter even though he's behind in the count he goes down looking Royals go down one two three and we're still knotted at zero Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And the batter now, number 38. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and fires. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Righty to the plate. Pitch misses there, and the count is one and two. Bounce back to the mound. Tosses to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Here's David Fletcher. In there and it's own one. On the ground. On the first and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Brett Phillips, the next to hit for the Angels. 
He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And that's in there for strike one. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Popped in the air, left field. Makes the catch, inning over. Angels held in check. Still no score. Welcome back. Here's the shortstop at the play. Bobby Witt, Jr. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. The wind of the pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Makes the catch. And there's one away. And now it's Salvador Perez to the plate. Grounded out his first time. Inside corner at the knees for a strike. He's been very consistent with his command out there on the mound, consistently throwing at the knees. Pretty impressive when a guy can repeat his delivery like this. That's the third. Zips it to first. Two quick outs here in the top of the fourth. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And next up for the Royals, M.J. Melendez. Reached on an infield single his first time. That one's in there, 0-1. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Next one is off the plate. And that is ball one. Way high. That one a little bit high. Three balls and a strike. Well, these guys have had a hard time scoring in this one. The guy out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Phillips under it. He's got it, and that is out number three. KC down in order, and we are still scoreless. Back in Anaheim, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you, and leading off the bottom of the fourth, Randall Gritchick. And a pitch. And a foul ball. And a foul ball. Righty delivers. And one and two. And a swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of his own right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. And now number nine. 
First offering, and it just misses. The Halos yet to pick up a hit here. In the air out to center. Blanco makes the catch for the second out. And now the first baseman, Brandon Drury. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. That one finds the corner. Strike one. That fastball, even though it's up, that's the velocity you want to go after. Low 90s, a lot better than trying to hit the high 90s. That one misses. And now it's even one and one. Two outs. Good eye right there. Now you get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. The wind of the pitch. This one popped up. Witt in position. And he makes the catch. And that'll do it. And the Angels are gone in order. Through four, still tied. Zip, zip. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now the left fielder, Edward Olivares. And the pitch. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. He blasted that one out of here. And the Royals strike first. It's one zip. Good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So here's the Royals DH, Michael Massey. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And here it comes. That one hit to right. And he can't quite get there. It's a foul ball. Going to now. The punch out there. And now one away. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the change up and still laid on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. So up next, Dyron Blanco. And first offering is fouled off. Well, he missed badly with that 0-2 fastball. Hitter has to understand, probably wants to try to put him away with that pitch, so got to stay ready for it. Kicks and deals. And down on strikes. That's his second strikeout. Here's Nick Prado. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. One. 
Good nope. eye in that spot. Next offering in the dirt, and it's two and one. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Next pitch misses, three and two now. Left-hand hitter waits. And there's ball four. It's been a little bit of a shaky inning, but he's still in a good spot to get out of this thing without giving up any more runs. He's just got to turn the page and go after this next guy. Duffy, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. The 0 2. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Good job at damage control right there. Royals strike first on this solo homer. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth, and here's the catcher, Logan Ohoppy. And a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. He's been pitching well, but going through this middle of the order second time through, we'll see what kind of adjustments are being made. The 1-1. One, one. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And the righty deals. And that's outside. High fly ball out towards left center. Blanco ranging into the alley. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. One away. And now here is Joe Adele caught looking his first time up. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. And Chris, that's a way to neutralize his speed by keeping him off base. And the defense breathes a sigh of relief because he puts pressure on everyone if he can put the ball in play. But that's how you do it. Keep him off balance, get him out of there, and deal with the next guy. Angels down to their final out. Next is the DH, a switch hitter, Eduardo Escobar. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Home team down a run. Here the home team trying to pull it out. Two balls, no strikes to count. Oh, an interesting situation. One swing, you can tie up the ball game. But if you're patient and work a walk, then you bring the game-winning run to the plate.
Here's a 2 1. That one is absolutely belted. That's bad. And forget it. Eduardo Escobar goes deep, and we are tied. It's 1 1. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Number 38, the next to hit. He's 0 for 1. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. Here comes a pitch. Strike two. Good job to fight that one off. The 0-2. And there's a the ball. ball. Chopped left side. Perez gets it to first. Out number three. Angels draw even on this solo homer. All even now at 1-1. Back after this on the show. Back here at Angel Stadium. All set for the top of the sixth. And yeah, the batter now, number 11. Man at second, nobody out. Chris... Certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. And now the lefty. Good eye right there. Next pitch inside, and now 3-0. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Bobby Witt Jr. waits on deck. Three-oh down. And he walked him. Well, that could be a tone setter for the inning. Four straight pitches and the leadoff batters on base. We'll see if the next guy waits until there's a called strike before he takes the bat off the shoulder. Go ahead, run on base. And to the plate for Kansas City, Bobby Witt Jr. That hits the dirt, and it's 1 0. Can't find it here. That's six straight balls. Clips the zone. Two balls and a strike. Two balls, one strike. Swings through that one for strike two. And he really sells the changeup with that arm action. Next offering misses, and it's a full count. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And he deals. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to Fletcher. How about that double play? Well, that at bat had a lot widened on it. Definitely one of the bigger ones in this game. So that double play is going to be one we look back on when this thing is over. Big time execution both on the mound and in the field to get two right there.
Here's the catcher, Salvador Perez. First pitch, and he just misses. Duffy at third with two away. Next offering is in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Pulled the string on the changeup. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. And welcome back. Well, we go bottom six. Now it's the second baseman, David Fletcher. Look for him to hit behind the runner, perhaps shoot it to the right side. Granke back to work. Base hit center field, around third. Here's the throw. Save! Ball game, they walk it off. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan, a walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long.